Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up guys? So welcome to your readings for February 2019. I want to wish all of my Aquarians out there a very happy birthday. We are officially in Aquarius season as far as Western astrology is concerned. Uh, I also want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day, maybe, if you're doing anything, if you're celebrating. I hope you have a great one. And if you're not such a fan, then forget I even said that, right? Right? <laughs> so these are general readings, okay? Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and send me an email, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. All of the readings that I offer are listed in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out and read through those. See if you, whichever one you would like and then shoot me an email. If you can't decide, then still email me and we can discuss the situation a little bit and I will help you pick out the best reading to move forward with, yeah? We are using the Golden Universal Tarot for the readings with the Oracle of the uh, Unicorns, hee hee hee, for a little bit of Oracle guidance, yeah? Um, uh, just one thing that I want to mention about the readings. I recommend that people watch the uh, the, the Leo reading and the Capricorn reading. Leo, because we just had that super blood moon eclipse on the 20th of sep uh, September, no, January, excuse me. I don't know why I said September, but um, the 20th of January. And depending on like, say if Leo was a, is, is a big thing in your chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus or whatever, or depending on what house Leo is in for you, you could get some good insight as to what may have happened uh, around or what may be shifting around that full moon that we had, the super blood moon eclipse. The Capricorn video, I also recommend that people watch, uh, re regardless if you have Capricorn in a major placement, as a major placement like Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You, with that one, you may also want to look into where Capricorn may be, what house it may be in in your chart. For some reason, there was just a lot of major collective energy that was coming through, at least in the very beginning of that reading. So I recommend that maybe if you're interested, if, there, if that's piqued your interest, if you resonate with that a little bit, to go ahead and watch that reading, yeah? If you are in the New York City metro area, come through and see me every Friday at Om Shanti Bookshop. I am there doing in-person readings from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The link to their website is in the description box below. Go ahead and check their, uh, check their website out. You can give them a call and schedule a reading in advance with me or any of the other fantastic readers there. We have astrologers, palm readers, tarot and oracle card readers like myself, and we're all really good at what we do. <laughs> yeah. They also have a really excellent crystal selection, a card selection between tarot and oracle cards. They do have a nice book selection, uh, essential oils, incense, sage, palo santo, anything that you might want. I'm pretty sure Om Shanti has it. Yes. And they do ship locally or oh, well, remotely. They do ship their, their, um, uh, uh, they can ship things. <laughs> Go ahead and give them a call. If you like, you can make it a, an order over the phone or you can do it online. Yes. And finally, I am on Instagram and um, Facebook. You can go ahead and follow me there. The links are in the description box below. Okay. So I think that's it. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get to it, guys. Hello there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for February 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into it. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Librans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for February 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Libra. So things feel really good for you right now, um, even though you might be coming out of a tumultuous time for some of you. Um, the sun did come out in the pre-shuffle, along with some other cards. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords was at the bottom of the deck when I finished. Um, what else was it? Oh, the Knight of Swords. Um, uh, some of you may be coming out of battle and feeling much better than you were in the past. Um, as I was starting to channel the Libra in energy, I, I saw a very good friend of mine who's a triple Libra 
in Western astrology, she was kind of like, oh, sh oh, oh shit, oh God, oh God, what are we, oh God, what's coming through? And it's, it's like, relax, <laughs> Libra, everything's okay. But what that is also saying to me is that I really feel, especially with the sun that came out in the pre-shuffle, I do feel like everything is feeling pretty good for you right now. So that's why you're kind of like, oh God, oh God, what's going on? But actually, the sun is shining on you, says Spirit Libra. So you really have, you don't have much to worry about, especially if you've been following your own guidance, um, staying authentic, staying true to yourself, and moving where your heart is guiding you to move, okay? Let's get one more shuffle for you, Libra. And then we will get started. Boop. All right, Libra. Overall energy starting you off with the Nine of Cups. What did I say? You're feeling good right now, Libra. I really do feel like you are. I really feel like some of your, you're seeing some of your wishes f uh, fulfill or materialize. Um, you may have recently gotten a, a payout. Some of you got a, a check recently and you're feeling good about it. Um, this might be, maybe you filed your taxes. Well, no, actually. No, it wouldn't be that because as of right now, the government is shut down. But anyway, maybe you're feeling like you're going to get a good amount of money with filing your taxes. Or maybe you, you maybe some of you got some sort of payout. That's for some of you. For others of you, you're just feeling good about yourself and good about life, feeling accomplished, feeling like you have everything, like you couldn't really want anything else right now. And that is really a great place to be in. That is a place of unconditional love, which is beautiful. All right. Nine of Cups. Ooh, but then we have the shit, but then we have the nine of swords and that is the energy of um, the sky is falling. It's almost as if things are too perfect right now. It's like, wait a second. I should, I shouldn't be this happy for no reason. Like something's got to be coming around the bend. Stop thinking that way, Libra. All right. Stop it because that's only going to help manifest ickiness into your life. All right. You have the high priestess and that, oh, chow, the world. All right, look, so many of you have learned some really deep lessons lately. Um, you might be really psychically attuned right now or psychic awareness is opening up. Learned some really deep lessons about yourself. Faced some of your deep, deep dark secrets. That could be what the Nine of Swords is talking about. Um, facing your deepest, darkest secrets, but then overcoming them and bringing the cycle to a close with the world. That's really quite fantastic, you guys, okay? So we're going to get into your energies. The first row is going to be moving into the energies moving into uh, surrounding you moving into February. The second row is going to be moving deeper into February. Yeah. First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. We've got the seven of wands. Okay. Feeling defensive. Yes. But keeping your boundaries up is the biggest thing that I'm hearing here is, or feeling, especially for those of you that have really come into a brand new place, a brand new place of happiness, uh, completion, serenity. You're not wanting to anyone to fuck that up. You're like, nah, get away from me. Don't 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 bring me down shit i work real hard to get my vibes up this high you ain't tearing me down nah -uh, buddy <laughs> the seven of wands is coupled with yeah see you don't want anybody to dim your shine the ten of cups there really is an energy libra of feeling like you have it all in a sense like there's a there's deep contentment emotional fulfillment um and with the seven of wands here you're just really trying not to let that go and you don't have to let that go now there are going to be ups and downs as a libra and you do kind of intrinsically understand that you are the sign of balance um that could be your lesson in life learning to deal with the ebb and flow of universal energies but you're feeling good right now you don't want anyone anyone to come come around and knock that down but also for those of you that have really leveled up here have faced some things and learned some things about yourself and brought something into completion um this seven of wands energy are the boundaries that uh, the seven of wands energy is excuse me the boundaries or are i don't know gram grammar is escaping me right now but it's the boundaries that you're putting in place to keep things from the past happening again you learned your lessons you're not trying to go back in the past the situation is either completed or is in the process of becoming completed and so you're just trying to keep yourself where you have come to okay second set of surrounding energies moving into february you have the eight of pentacles so some of you are could be um going into a new line of work some of you could be picking up some entrepreneurship ideas or inspiration or business opportunities um, others of you are really working on continuing to work on yourself i do feel like you have this like inspiration 
Um, some of you really may have learned recently what it feels like to work on yourself and to come to some really big realizations and to heal and close out cycles. And so I feel like some of you are really eager to continue that going with the eight of pentacles here and that's really beautiful the universe really encourages that okay eight of pentacles is coupled with ooh, okay the emperor and this is beautiful now this is uh aries energy you could be connecting with an aries um you could be working on a relationship with an aries building a foundation with an aries but the emperor is also about um, being the master of your own domain, um, really taking responsibility for your life, your reality, and what you're experiencing here, Libra. That's shh, good for you, yo. Like, that's some bomb ass shit, Libra. Damn, like, do the damn thing, boo. Like, yes, come through. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting ratchet. Um, <laughs> Um, but yeah, this really feels really, really good for you, Libra. I'm not going to lie. You're taking your power back. You're, you're the master of all, your own domain. You're doing what you need to, what you know you need to do for yourself and for others if you are, if you're in that kind of position, but mainly just for yourself, again, because you've learned the value in doing that inner work. And so you really want to keep going. Your challenge moving into February, you got the Knight of Cups. Oh, isn't that sweet? Now, this is February, all right? So we are in Valentine's month. So this work that you're doing on yourself really could attract a partner into your life. Not even going to lie. Um, uh, that could be challenging, especially with the Seven of Wands energy. You might be pretty skeptical of it. You know, keep your boundaries, but also don't be a cynic. <laughs> okay, Libra, don't be a cynic. But... Um, also, what this is talking about is creative expression. For some of you, you're breaking out of a really closed heart chakra situation. And so your challenge now is to, now that you've really um, broken, broken yourself wide open, your challenge re really could be moving forward uh, with expressing your truth, you're expressing your heart's desires. For some of you, this is getting back into or into some sort of some new form of creativity. Creative expression is definitely something that I'm hearing here. Knight of Cups in your challenge is coupled with the Six of Swords. Don't be a cynic, Libra. If someone comes forward towards you and wants to show you love and appreciation because you're overflowing with all that energy, allow it to happen. Go with the flow. You don't have to, uh, you know, you don't have to lower the guard completely and just let them rush right in. But at the same time, like I said, I'm going to say it again. Don't be a cynic, okay? Because that is the Nine of Swords energy. That is self-fulfilling prophecies. Those are self-fulfilling prophecies. And so the more you approach a situation in love, if someone is coming towards you, or if you're trying to go move towards someone else, the more you um, think of, I guess, uh, or expect a worst case scenario, the greater the chances of that manifesting in your life, all right? Closing message for the first, going into February or the uh, potential outcome here. You've got strength. All right. It could be a Leo energy here. Um, for some of you, this full moon that we just had in on January 20th uh, really could have been um, a very strong point for you because that was in Leo. But this is having inner strength, okay? Knowing who you are and accepting it and taming the beast within. And that beast within wasn't tamed before because you weren't accepting it. And so it might've been lashing out, acting out, acting a fool, you know what I mean? But I see you really have a good reign on that. All right, and that's beautiful. Or at least gaining a better, better control over yourself. And that's beautiful. Excuse me, the uh, strength is coupled with all oh, right, the sun, and this did come out during the pre-shuffle, all right? More Leo energy, um, confidence, strength, authority, joyfulness, happiness, just loving life and living it up. I mean, that's beautiful. Again, Libra, like Spirit said, the sun is shining on you right now, so good on you, boo-boo, yes? Moving forward, getting deeper into February, first set of surrounding energies, you got the Queen of Swords. Well, this is you, Libra. This is your archetype, the Queen of Swords. Um, and that's excellent. Uh, 
honestly, I'm feeling like you're having way too much fun to let anybody dim your shine in February. Um, and so, and this, and damn right, this isn't even the King of Swords. It's the motherfucking queen and she ain't taking shit from nobody. She's not about to have her time wasted by nobody. So the moment she realizes that something ain't right, that something's not vibing with her, that what, what not, whatever, she's cutting that shit out. No questions asked. Yes? Not even a discussion. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. This just doesn't resonate with me. So bye. Be on your way. <laughs> Queen of Swords is coupled with, ooh, the lovers. There is a deep, wow, Libra, there is a deep balance of masculine and feminine. There is a deep union within you. For some of you, this could be dealing with a twin flame or it could also, it doesn't have to be a twin flame. It could be a soulmate, maybe even a karmic partnership, Spirit is saying now. Um, but uh, yeah, if it's been tumultuous, you're just not having it. You're like, cut and run. Bye, I'm done. I'm not dealing with this shit anymore. You're bringing me down. I don't deserve to be brought down like this. I'm just not having it. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be anything in your life. Uh, so for some of you that are going, are starting a new business, um, you know, or maybe even starting a new job, you could be cutting, cutting yourself. This could be putting in your two weeks somewhere. Uh, this is definitely spirit is saying this is definitely a union energies of masculine and feminine within for some of you also, um, you might be cutting out any sort of belief systems or any, or any sort of sort of toxic thoughts that keep you from having this union within or having a relationship with someone that you're very close with someone that is very dear to you. Okay. The second set of surrounding energies moving deeper into February, you get the king of cups all right now action action is being taken says spirit this could either be on your part or on the part of someone else's this could be that person that might be wanting to come in towards you to show you some sort of love here with the knight of cups and the six of swords in your challenge energy is moving into february now moving deeper into february again this is valentine's day month so y'all might be going on a date <laughs> <laughs> okay, King of Cups, uh, but also Spirit is wanting me to say that this is emotional maturity to take some sort of action when it comes to your heart's desires. Again, Libra, this could be you or it could be someone else around you, someone else you've been connecting with. Spirit is saying potentially your twin flame or someone new that could be potentially entering in your life. And that would be someone that is way more in alignment with this Ten of Cups energy you are just swimming in this month, yeah? Ooh, child, I love this, Libra. You are, y'all, this feels great. King of Cups is coupled with the Nine of Wands. So what I'm picking up here is if this is someone that's coming towards you, they've been through the ringer too. They know exactly what they what you've been through, not necessarily because you may have told them about it, although you may have. Um, and so they're knowing that you're guarded. They know that they might actually, they might be a little bit guarded too. Um, but if it's not that, this is just someone that has been through something similar, maybe even the same thing. Uh, it doesn't have to be that though. It's just understanding each other. There is an understanding here that I'm feeling with this, not uh, with this King of Cups energy. Um, but now if this is something that you're embodying, that you're, you're taking the initiative to start expressing yourself on a deeper level, on a more, more authentic level. You're having to persevere. You're feeling battered and bruised, but at the same time, you're still ready to go. You're like, look, I've been through some shit and I surmounted it and I overcame it and I'm in a much better place than I ever was in the past. I can continue moving forward, expressing myself. There is a little bit of defensiveness here, but your heart is still wide open, okay? Your challenge, moving into deeper into the month of February, you've got... Ooh, the King of Pentacles. For some of you, you could be dealing with a Taurus or another Earth sign. For others of you, this is just dealing... Uh, the biggest thing I'm getting with the, here is dealing with a really, really fixed and rigid individual. Now, this could be you. You could have Taurus in your chart. You could have another Earth sign in your chart. Or, But the biggest thing I'm picking up here for some of you is dealing... The challenge is dealing with this Earth sign. So if you're embodying this Queen of Swords energy... Um, when it comes to facing the lovers, this could be your twin flame. This could be just a soulmate that you've been with for a long time or you just have a really deep connection with. They may actually be super, super rigid and you might be having to kind of, you might be kind of butting heads with them because Libra, you are a cardinal energy. This King of Pentacles is a fixed energy here. So, okay, so you might be wanting to make moves, take action, and they're just staying stuck and stagnant and the same. All right. 
Again, this could also be energies within you. <clears throat> so you really actually could be going to uh, butting heads with yourself even. Because what I'm picking up here is that um, your cardinal energy is wanting to move in a new direction, try new things, explore new territory, and the fixed energy within you is like, nah, I ain't doing that shit. What am I, what, 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 you think I'm crazy? Yes, actually, let's go, let's be crazy. Let's go do something new. No, I don't feel like it. Well, screw you, I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> oh man, all right. King of Pentacles <laughs> is coupled with the Six of Pentacles, yep. So there is not a balance with uh, give and take in this relationship, whether it's within you or it's someone else. So you really need to embody that Queen of Swords energy, Libra, and, and cut and run. If this shit is not balanced, then bye, Felicia. Damn. I'm trying to do things with my life over here. Y'all just want to sit over here on the couch eating bonbons, watching TV? Fuck that. I ain't got time for that shit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Libra, I am loving your energy right now. Um, your closing message or the potential outcome here moving deeper into February, you got, what did I say? The Eight of Cups, walking away. Now, this could be your advice here. You really might need to just walk away. You might need to walk away from this element of yourself that is really fixed, super fixed in nature that I'm picking up for some of you. But others of you, you got to walk away from this other person that's being stuck, stagnant, rigid, and stubborn and doesn't want to move And that because that situation is not balanced. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Eight of Cups is coupled with yeah, due to the wheel of fucking fortune. <laughs> Change the cycle, Libra. There really isn't anything that I need to say here, but just the, the cycle. Look at that. And you have, I forgot about that. You have the world underneath the deck. For some of you, there is a relationship that's coming to an end here. And that sucks because this is Valentine's month, but I don't feel like it sucks for you. Uh, whoever this is, all right? Either you, Libra, or someone else that's connected with you. Maybe you, Libra, are the real rigid one that this person needs to walk away from. I love you, okay? I'm just trying to tell you like it is. But whoever is needing to walk away or is walking away, if you're afraid to walk away, don't worry about it because cycles change and karma's a bitch, all right? Um, and I think, I really feel like you have nothing to worry about if you are the person that needs to walk away because things are going to be so much better for you when you do. Alrighty. Let's get into your Oracle message here for the month of February. Oh, I do also want to point out that you have three nines on the table, two tens. Nines are endings, tens are completion. All right. So there is definitely an energy of, um, needing to walk away from something or needing to end something. And that could be why you're in this nine of swords energy, this, uh, the fear aspect of it, the, the, um, the doom and gloom aspect of it. But remember the first card of your overall energies for the month is the nine of cups. That's wish fulfillment guys. I mean, it's not wish fulfillment on a grand spiritual sense, but you do have completion on a grand spiritual sense. The wish fulfillment in that spiritual sense would be the star. That has not come out here. So what I'm picking up on for most of you, ooh, okay, wait, there's more coming through. So we're not getting into the Oracle section yet. Let me talk about this. What's coming through for you is that this wish fulfillment um, might be, is monetary, I guess you could say. And it absolutely could be in ending this relationship or this cycle, all right? And that's freedom right there, okay? And with the King of Cups, with the Nine of Wands here, that's the other thing that just came out. You're having to guard yourself against this nine, this King of Cups. This King of Cups could be extremely narcissistic and emotionally manipulative. And you're needing to, to and you're needing to almost fight back, but I'm not saying get physical, um, and I'm not saying even really be confrontational, but you need to fight back in the sense of standing up for yourself. Okay. Take your power back with the emperor. Okay. That's it. So now let's get into your oracle guidance for the month of February, Libra. From the unicorns. I love unicorns. I'm sure you guys can probably tell by now <laughs> if you've been following me for long enough. All right. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of February. Best messages, please, spirit. All right. Here we go, guys. 
Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Best message for the month of February. Thank you so much, Spirit. Here we go. Beloved, I told you, y'all, mm -hmm. underneath the deck, you have polarity. Well, uh, you know, you could absolutely say that this card here could represent the archetype of Libra here in this um, in this unicorn oracle deck. Polarity. Integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. And you, as a Libran, have the uh, the opportunity, the potential. You may it may even be a major life lesson for you coming through as a Libra or having strong Libran energy in your chart. This could be your lesson in understanding duality, understanding polarity, understanding that there can be no light without dark and no dark without light, that kind of thing. Honor your shadow side. Yes? But then you also have beloved. Prepare for your life partner. Ooh, ciao. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable, Libra. Don't be a cynic, Libra. Don't be a cynic, bitch. <laughs> You know, don't be that queen of swords. Don't be so, so much of that queen of swords. All right. Keep your boundaries. Absolutely. But if love is trying to come forward towards you, allow it. Again, you don't have to let your boundaries down, your walls down all that quick and just let them flood you with emotion and drown you in emotion. But also, you don't have to be a cynic. All right, Libra. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you guys. And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.